Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do, technically, it's February favorites, although we are way, way into a March by now, but it's okay. I have a lot of amazing products to share with you, so let's get started. <music> So I'm wearing this beautiful pink uh, Gucci scarf. I have been loving pink recently. I'm just like going obsessed. Maybe because the February usually here in Arkansas is so dark and it's so... Well, the weather is here crazy, okay? We have days that it could be even 70 degrees and then two days later we are back to the 30s. Absolutely ridiculous. So. Yes, but when it gets very dark and kind of depressing, I kind of like to wear pink. So, yes, so there is a lot of pink happening. <laughs> All right, so as usual, I'm going to start with some beauty products that I have been going crazy about. And the first two are going to be lipsticks. Let's talk about the lipsticks. So the very first one is the one that I'm wearing. This is the Givenchy. I have been actually loving this lipstick since I bought it. Is it like January or something like that or December? Absolutely love this color. It's like a nice kind of a pink fuchsia color. That's what I have on today. It is slightly mattifying so you can um, put a little bit of the gloss over it but honestly it doesn't bother me. Sometimes I'll put just a little bit like a Laneige balm when I do my makeup and then I put it right on top of it and it's just perfect. So love it and obviously the packaging is just, it's just beautiful. Everything about this lipstick is just great. So I highly recommend this exact color. This is number 14. I will link it down below so you can um, check it out for yourself. Those are not the cheapest one, obviously, but they are so, so, so good. The second lipstick is from Dior and it comes in this beautiful, beautiful case. And this is actually a second lipstick of the same color. Um, this is color 577 Lazy. And like I said, I've used one up before. So this one is basically new. I bought it some time ago and now I started using it again. You see the similarities. I just love those pink and I can probably even put this one on top. They are very similar, but this one is not matte. This one is very kind of moisturizing. And as you can see, it's a kind of thin lipstick. You know, the, the packaging itself can be a little bit bulky, but you know, this is such a good formula. I love, 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 love this lipstick as well. So speaking of Dior, Let's talk about some other Dior products which I have been loving. So this eye serum I purchased during the last Sephora sale and I haven't really tried using it until like a little bit over a month ago. That's where I really started to using it because I was still using my Sushida eye cream which I featured in my last favorites which is so 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 good. But I finally uh, tried this one on and actually this one is going to be perfect now that it's getting warmer we are going into the spring and summer because it's very light formula it's extremely light and um, dissolves under your eyes so quickly and you know you're not gonna have any sticky residue or anything like that because some eye cream serums can kind of leave a little bit you know funky skin but no this one is really good it is pricey this is from uh, it's called one essential um it is, it is pricey, you know, like everything from Dior, but I would highly, highly recommend. I'll definitely this link, it, link this one down below for you. And I see Eddie's coming in here. <laughs> yeah, he's always looking for me. Uh, so also, I did mention this foundation in my last favorites. I have to do it again. This is Capture Total Super Potent Serum Foundation from Dior again. It's amazing. If you still haven't tried it, please please go and do it this is obviously comes with the pump it's so beautiful this particular shade i will include my shade in the description box this is probably the one n it is so good it's just the coverage is amazing the longevity is amazing it is pricey it is pricey but it is one of the best foundations i own i have one more product from you that i want to mention and this is the uh, total cup Capture Total um, Dior Face Cream, Face Moisturizer. 
and I, I'm actually almost done with this. I'm gonna show you guys. There's very little left on the sides, as you can see. So I'm basically almost done with this. This is actually a second jar of this particular moisturizer. And it's always a little splurge, you know, because it's quite pricey, obviously it's Dior, but um, it's so worth it. It's not gonna, again, leave you very thick, you know, slimy residue on your face, you know, when you do your makeup. I literally put it this morning, I put my makeup on and I'm good to go. Great at night, great in the morning, highly recommend this. And, you know, if you... Um, if you go on the Dior website and, you know, if you purchase uh, products from Dior, you can always get some perks. There's some bonuses. Uh, obviously, you can join the Dior Beauty um, Insider Club. I don't know exactly how it's called, but, you know, you can always get some extra stuff from Dior. So I would highly recommend to shop at the Dior website. I will link all the Dior items that I love down in the description box. So, yeah. I'm loving it. So I want to uh, mention one more foundation. That's actually the foundation that I have on today. And this one is from Chanel. This is the Ultra Tint foundation. And sometimes with my foundation, I go in kind of a stages that I use something for a long period of time and then I kind of switch. And I think it's my, f my, my skin sometimes just need a little change. So I have been using this Dior a lot, a lot. And I recently also have been reaching for this one. And um, I kind of forgot how much I love this. And I have about like half left of this, I would say. Um, I love this one. And very little goes a long way. And again, I will put my shade down in the description box so you can, but that's what I have on today. That's exactly what I put it on today. So um, yeah, it is a very good foundation. I think it's slightly less expensive than, um, than the Dior, but it's also a great, great foundation. All right, there is something from um, YSL. This is actually a YSL primer that I have been loving, 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 loving. You know, sometimes when you use some of the, um, you know, foundation that can be a little bit mattifying or doesn't have as much radiance, this little primer is amazing. I mean, it doesn't matter. If I use it, doesn't matter if the foundation is matte or if the foundation is radiant. I use it all the time. I just love the glow that this little balm is giving me. It's literally called a glow in balm <laughs> by, um, YSL. This is this is how it looks like. Um, it's amazing product. I love it so much. I literally just squeeze a little bit and just distribute, you know, on my um, all over my face basically. And then I follow with the foundation. You won't be able to to tell. It dries very quickly. Doesn't leave like a sticky residue again because I hate anything sticky on my face. But it's so nice. It gives you a nice kind of layer of uh, moisturization. Um, sometimes I do my skincare early in the morning and then I go around the house, you know, if I don't have to leave, you know, very early in the morning and it might take an hour or two before I do my makeup. And, you know, if I put this on again, I kind of gives the skin a little bit of the moisture before I apply the foundation. So love this, love this. You have to try it. My hands has been so crazy dry this winter and, um, this this shouldn't be anything new because I mentioned this um, particular hand cream on my channel a million gazillion <laughs> times, but I'm going to mention it again. The Cotoly hand cream is the best. This is the best. Obviously, I'm basically done with this. I went through probably 20 tubes before. That's that's how much I love it. I've been using it for years, okay? Each disc of this tube is, I think it's $15. So it's not too crazy expensive, but it's gonna last you for a very long time. And I'm literally like squeezing the last bits of it, but I do have a backup. So I do also carry those little mini uh, cuddly clean creams in my handbags. This is the best. Again, doesn't leave the residue on your hands, doesn't make your hands sticky. And especially when I wash my hands, I just have to put some kind of a moisturizer on my hands. I cannot go with the dry hands around the anywhere <laughs> because it's just driving me nuts. And especially when I'm at work, you know, doing the rehearsals and I cannot have very sticky hand cream on me because, you know, then I grab my instrument. I, I just cannot have anything on my hand. So basically, I use a little bit of this and it just dries immediately, uh, leaving my skin silky soft on my hands and I can move on and, you know, work. So, uh, yes, if you haven't tried this hand cream, it's a must. 
the best. So I have been going back and forth between my Clarisonic and the Luna and I think the Luna has been a winner recently. This is, I think this is the mini Luna. This is not a full size. There are bigger one. There are also minis, which I would not really recommend the minis, but um, this is like the kind of a medium size, I would say, and this is so good. You can use it with any face wash that you like, that any that you use, um, could be a foaming, could be gel, could be anything, and you just wash your face with this. Obviously it's, you know, it's vibrating. I don't know if you can see the light, there's light, but it is vibrating. There's a couple of settings, you know, you can go on this side, you can go on that side, and it's basically, oh, you can also adjust the speed. There's plus and minus, so you can adjust the speed. Obviously you, it's rechargeable. Um, the only minis I think are like, I'm gonna say one time use, but it's not one time use. But once you're done with the battery, that's it. So um, I like this one because this is great for travel and it's great to, you know, it doesn't take too much space. The full size is just a little bit taller, but it's very good because it's silicon and you can just wash it off and it's, it, you're gonna be good to go. So if you haven't tried these, you should. You definitely should. I know the Clarisonic is discontinued. So obviously you cannot buy the Clarisonic anymore, but this one you can, and I think this is the next the best thing after Clarisonic, so highly, highly recommend it. Okay, let's talk about some makeup. I have been playing with some different palettes this month, but the one that it's really stood up to me is the Biba palette. So this is nothing new from Natasha Denona. This palette has been out for quite some time. And you know, again, I go in stages. I use different eyeshadows, different palettes, but this one is just something that I have been playing with and I have it on today. I especially love that um, very sparkly, you know, color that I have here on my uh, lids. And, you know, I put some darker one on the outer edge and I put those neutral one in the crease. This is like one and go. <laughs> you can put so many, you can make so many looks with this because you have so many like uh, matte eyeshadows and you obviously have some, um, you know, some sparkles there as well. But if you are especially a matte eyeshadow lover or if you need um, like a palette with, you know, um, that will have more matte eyeshadows because let's say you have a lot of sparkly eyeshadow, you know, more shiny eyeshadow, I would highly recommend this. Yes, they are not cheap. Natasha Denona is not cheap. But if you can splurge, this is just gonna last you for such a long time because it's it's nearly impossible to go through all those, you know, colors. And obviously, I don't use all of them. You know, I don't use those, you know, kind of, what do you call them, like a gray. That's not, you know, what I reach for. But pretty much any other one I, I used. So, you know, it's it's very good, versatile palette. It's a little big, but I love it. I love, 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 love. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to mention is, <laughs> I have so many um, bronzers, and I, again, I go in stages, and recently <laughs> it's this one. So this is the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Again, this is nothing new. She has this bronzer for a while. I'm making a little dent in this uh, bronzer already. I do have it in a shade two shade one and i'm very pale okay and i have it on today shade one is so light that even on me wouldn't show so i highly recommend if you are pale like me go with number two and i have it for at least two years i would say and this is not like super duper pigmented like for example my gucci bronzer i have to go a little bit light-handed with the gucci or the hourglass this one is you can really kind of dig your brush into it and just blends like a dream love this absolutely love this and uh yeah this was definitely one of the best purchases it's been a while you know since i have it and like i said I go back and forth, back and forth. So I kind of shop my own stash. You know, that's what you gotta do, right? But I recently purchased a new powder from Hourglass and this one is the Ambient Powder Lightning Infinity Powder. That's what it's called. It is basically 
brand new. I use it on only a few times. That's a setting powder. And I purchased it because if you guys remember, I got this palette, I think it was before Christmas. I don't think this palette is available anymore. If it is, I'll link it down below. This is one of those limited edition um, hourglass palettes. And I have been loving this powder. And you can probably tell I already made a little dent in here and I was so afraid that I'm gonna run out of it that you know it would be kind of silly because this palette is very nice for travel because you basically have your setting powder you have your blushes you have a little um, like a highlighter and then you have a bronzer so I was thinking to myself if I use it up this powder completely you know then that's kind of a bummer so I've decided to get this powder on its own so I recently started using it so like I said it's it's basically almost new I just I use it just a few times so but I'm gonna stick to this now instead of using the palette so I can leave this for you know more for travel whatever I'm gonna go but yeah absolutely love this by the way all the makeup that I'm wearing it's always a link in the description box because you guys sometimes ask me what I have on so everything I have on my face <laughs> will be in the description box so yeah if you're not familiar with the hourglass, hourglass powders you should get it those are like one of the best one of the best and um, I have quite a few different so highly recommend hourglass love it I have two fragrances that I want to share with you and they are both from Dior so the first one is my typical, I would say, fall, winter, slash early spring fragrance. And I'm talking about the Dune. And I feel in a way like a Dune has been forgotten for a while because it's such an old fragrance from Dior. But it brings so many good memories every time I wear it. And People always ask me, if I have this on, they ask me, what am I wearing? What kind of perfumes? It's just so beautiful. Every time I smell it, it just brings me back to my college years. And uh, many times I, I, I mention about this perfume, so I'm not going to bore you again with the whole stories. But this is beautiful. I'll link it down below for you. You have to go and get it. I went through the numerous numerous bottles of this and uh, this one is the big baby this is a hundred mil trust me this is one of the most unique it is strong but it is quite unique i would say scent i i just love it i don't know exactly what's in it what kind of notes maybe i should make an effort and figure it out but yeah i will link it down below you can definitely read it on the your website you know what kind of notes are here and if that's something that will suit you i know there's few of you that did purchase this perfume after my recommendation because i've been talking about this perfume for years so oh my god it's so good it's absolutely amazing so if you haven't tried the Dune, you have to because this is one of the best perfumes. And something that is completely different to Dune, it's more kind of lightweight. Again, super unique. I would say super unique. If you if you wear this perfume, nobody's going to have it around, trust me. It is a unisex perfume. It is from the special line, from that Maison line. Uh, it is a cashmere by Christian Dior. I do have a big baby of this. I, I know now, when I purchased this quite some time ago, it only came in this, I think it's 200 mil. I might be wrong. Uh, but now it comes in 100 mil, so it comes in the smaller size, you know, if you don't wanna purchase big one right away. But this is so nice. It is unisex. I think men or women can wear this perfume easily, easily. There's just no, no question about it. It is, um, I think it's a year-round perfume. Could be someone's signature perfume as well. It's quite lightweight, you know, it's different obviously than Dune. Has, I don't know, if I, if I, when I smell this, I feel more like, you know, it's because it's lightweight, I feel more like spring, summer, kind of, you know, but at the same time, like I wear it all winter long <laughs> and it's still, you know, it's still great and I can smell all day I can smell this all day on me and again nobody nobody's gonna smell like this because this is one of those super super unique perfumes I'll link it down below you can go and read all the description all the notes of this perfume and 
it's good. It's expensive, but it's worth it. So because we are technically still in the winter, well, almost in the spring, and the February is usually the coldest month in here. Um, so I have been wearing a lot of shawls and especially this one. This is the, this is not the denim, it's black, right? I never know. Is this a blue or the black? I. <laughs> it's from LV. I think it's, maybe it's black, but it's really like a silver. I, I, I was thinking about it last last time is this blue it looks blue on the camera but when I look it up close it looks black I don't remember what I bought it's either blue or black but it, it's reversible so it could be like that kind of silverish I think maybe it's black <laughs> I'm ridiculous and um, on the other side is more you know the opposite color so you can have it either on this side so it is more you know kind of I don't know, does it look blue-ish, navy-ish? And I'm looking at the viewfinder. But if I look at it up close, it looks more black. So, I don't know, go figure. And it's more kind of silvery on the other side. It's ginormous, okay? If you're familiar with the LV shawls, they are ginormous. They are super warm. But at the same time, they are thin and they snug like crazy. I don't know if you can tell. Do you see my little snugs in here? It's just, it's impossible to not have this snug okay at least there's one snug every time I wear it so yes I, I mean first I was like going nuts now I'm just giving up so I have two of those shawls I have this one and I have one that it's more like um, I think it was a dune color it's more neutral it's all like one very kind of light beige color but these are so good especially for this time of the year so yeah i'll link a couple of down below for you guys you have to try it and you know sometimes buying pre-owned you can save a lot of money because unfortunately these are quite expensive but in my opinion worth every penny okay one more um fashion item i want to share with you which i never share with you clothing almost never but i want to mention it because i have been living in that sweater this is a sweater from um Barefoot Dreams, Barefoot Dreams, there we go. So I've got this during the last anniversary sale. This is one of those long and thick sweaters. It has, um, you know, the pockets. And I literally have been like snugging <laughs> myself in this thing for, yeah, since like basically January. You know, when it gets cold, I am start living in this thing and um, unfortunately it's a too big for me so i cannot really wear it like going outside because my husband is making fun of me i since december i lost 18 pounds so i am yes i'm back on my mission of losing more more weight and this one when i purchased this in i think it was september or august the anniversary sale i purchased in a size large slash extra large I think I need like medium large right now. It's 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 ginormous on me, but that's not the point. The point is the fabric is just so cozy. It's so warm. I know they make this in a thinner version, which I have my eye on. So I would like to get a thinner, like a longer kind of version. Although this one is long, it just cover my you know my butt very easily, and. Um, it's great i wear it like in the morning you know dropping my kids off to school you know i just kind of snuggle in these things just wrap around myself and it's just so uncomfortable and i you know i kind of lounge around the house with this thing on it's just so good it's just so comfortable i know they make blankets like this and uh which i'm tempted to get because it's just so so nice so anyway yeah i definitely have to get myself a smaller size of this and maybe the thinner version as well but this particular sweater is so good and like I said, I have been literally living in that thing. <laughs> Alright, let's move on to a couple of accessories. Um, I hope you're still with me. I know this video is super long, but my favorites are always long. So I hope you enjoy hanging <laughs> with me. So I have to mention again, I mentioned so many times, but one more time. <laughs> this is my Chanel card case again do you see the pink do you see the pink I had to switch to this because I've been um, reaching for some small bags occasionally and then I kind of get lazy and I stay in it <laughs> you know and even though I've been really carrying a bigger you know bigger bags as well 
I kind of get lazy, so I just kind of put it in my bag and that's what kind of been, um, you know, moving around my big bags, which I'm gonna share with you in just a second. I wanna give a little honorable mention to this baby. I know I just recently purchased this and I haven't technically used it for a long time, but I just, I just wanted to mention it. This is the Constance wallet, again, the pink. <laughs> Do we see the pink? And I did move my cards in here, just right, uh, let me open this so you can see it so this is the one that you put your cards kind of vertically in here and as well as in here so I didn't put all the stuff here but yeah the money someone asked me about the money yeah you have to fold so if you carry cash you have to fold it because obviously US dollars are just not gonna fit into it here so yeah but the cards you know goes vertically in here um, that pocket you can just put it in there so yeah I think it's gonna be a great wallet I'm looking forward to use it now so yeah and obviously the you know the color for the summer for the um, yeah spring and summer oh, it's just beautiful I know you guys might be saying Magda stop talking about this but I promise this is the very last time I'm gonna mention these shoes and I'm talking about the Prada loafers when I purchased them in the fall, I have no idea that I'm going to be wearing them basically every single day throughout the whole winter. That's the case, okay? Honestly, you guys, I, that's why I have to mention because I know these are expensive. They were like almost $1,000 or so, but you know, cost per wear, I get my money back already. And these are the most stylish, the most comfortable the most durable loafers I ever had, okay? And I feel like I'm just gonna still wear them for another season or two. They are just amazing. I know they are not gonna be in use during the summer because we get like in the 90s in here and 100, so obviously I'm not gonna wear them, but fall, winter, and probably early spring, I'm still gonna wear these. These are amazing. If you are still thinking to get them, just go get them go get them they run true to size they are gonna feel a little stiff in the beginning they will feel a little stiff but trust me after a few wears they're gonna be molding to your feet and they're just gonna be so comfortable so go get them i'll link it down below all right two handbags i want to feature um today in my favorites videos those are the two handbags that i have been reaching for a lot Yes, I have been using different handbags also, but these two, I have to give a shout out. So the first one is my Prada Nylon Tote. I know this particular tote would be impossible to find unless you look probably on the pre-loved market. I purchased it, I think it's been like two years that I have it. It's made of this quilted nylon and is the best tote ever. I know I love my LV Neverfulls, but for the winter, this is the best. It's so durable because obviously it's all nylon. It has a perfect pocket for your cell phone in here and you can zip it on top of it. And it has a zipper. <laughs> So I have been using it recently. Let me just show you, it's, I, I have it stuffed with <laughs> just junk in here, but it's, it's amazing. This handbag is probably one of the best purchases. You know, again, it, you know, sometimes it can get so pricey because it's Prada and you know, it's in reality is nylon. So, you know, we don't want to pay thousands of dollars, but you know, I feel like this is just gonna last me for years and years and years. It has even feet at the bottom. It's so comfortable. The straps are made of leather, obviously, so I wish they were a little bit longer. I wish they were a little bit longer, but this is such a great bag. And honestly, I feel like this could be my year-round bag, even though I mainly use it in the fall, winter, you know, early spring, because of the quilting sometimes looks a little bit wintry. But um, I, I, you know, use it quite a few times during the summer also, so it doesn't really matter. But I will try to uh, link for you some of the Prada um, uh, nylon totes. I've seen a lot, very nice, because like every season she'll come up with slightly different ones. And you know, this is like 
she make it once and then they just move on to the new model so um like i said this particular might be a little bit hard to find if i do find it i'll link it down below but i i fell in love with the quilt that's why i went for it it was like two years ago on farfetch i think um that's what i purchased from and i just the best purchase i just i was just so happy and uh yeah really really good tilt so my chanel reissue is my second handbag that i have been finally using after the video where i was ranking all my chanel handbags which by the way i'll link it up there i i i you know when i was putting the bags away i was like you know what i have to use it because i told you guys i haven't used this bag since before the pandemic started and i even like was thinking to myself what what a waste because this is such an amazing bag so i didn't put it on the shelf you know what normally lives in my cabinet I put it up and I started using it and I love it and I love it and you know sometimes you just kind of need to go through your little collection and just kind of look through and you know just start using your bags that's basically what I'm gonna say so yeah I literally have been using it as my everyday bag you know because it's amazing it is a double flop it's the it is double flop but it's not as heavy as my jumbo so um you know it's it's so kind of squishy and and comfortable and it's not heavy and it's perfect everyday bag so yeah i really really have been loving it you guys so yes i am back on the reissue wagon <laughs> uh if the chanel bags wouldn't be so expensive i would definitely like to buy um some reissue with a lighter color you know sometimes you just have to look at the you know even pre-owned markets uh, you know just to look for a good deal uh if i find any good ones again i'll leave down in the description box but anyway um yeah i do highly recommend reissue if you are you know not into the typical classic cc because of heaviness and this is by the way to do seven size so that's equivalent of the jumbo um you can you might consider the reissue because i think they're still stylish and they're a little bit more low-key not so much chanel in your face and um yeah i love it all right guys so this is it for today i hope you enjoyed this video as usual it was long but you know any of my uh favorites videos are always long because I have a lot to say <laughs> so anyway there's gonna be a lot of exciting videos coming up a lot of unboxings yes i have been naughty and um, i spent a lot of money so yes i purchased a lot of things so stay tuned there's gonna be a lot happening on my channel so yeah of course don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel and uh yeah I guess I'll talk to you soon. Bye!